celebrate the servants of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, in life, it's the other way around. Um, you introduce the bishop. The bishop does not introduce you. So I am humbled. I consider it a privilege and honor for the bishop to come and introduce me here this evening. Thank you very much, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have we been breaking forth? Have we been breaking forth? This year, no barrier will stand our way in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, this year, no barrier will survive in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please, um, before we take our seats, let's turn our Bibles this evening to the book of Numbers. I want to read the scripture and we'll take our seats. Numbers chapter 20, Numbers chapter 14. Numbers chapter 14. Numbers chapter 14, I'll read verses 23 and 24. This is the Lord speaking. Surely they shall not see the land which I swear unto their fathers. Neither shall any of them that provoked me see it. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him, and hath followed me fully, him will I bring into the land wherein to he went and his seed shall possess it his seed shall possess it his seed shall possess it this evening i want to talk about possessing another spirit for breaking barriers possessing another spirit for breaking barriers father we thank you for tonight we thank you for your word Open our eyes. Open our understanding. Speak through me. Let Jesus be glorified. Let lives be transformed. Baptize us with another spirit. The spirit that will break forth this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be comfortably seated. The Bible says, Surely they shall not see the land. The wilderness was never intended by God to be a barrier. The wilderness was never intended by God to be a destination. The wilderness was never intended by God to be the graveyard of the nation of Israel. The wilderness was supposed to be a transit point. And let me say this this evening. The challenges we face are never intended to destroy us. Quite recently, I had a story of a young lady in early 30s. She was going through terrible times in her marriage. She developed heart problem. The long and short of it, she lost her life, leaving three children. The wilderness is never intended to be a burial ground. None of us here tonight will end up in our challenges. Uh, I am not hearing the amen. None of us here tonight will end up in our challenges. Our challenges are not a full stop. Our challenges are there to bring a pause. Barriers are placed on the way to hinder, to impede. But here the Bible says that of the men, 600,000 men, 
that came out of Egypt, that came into the wilderness, 600,000. Please, I want you to get this in mind. 600,000 men, beside women and children, only two of the men made it to their destination. Even Moses did not make it. Aaron did not make it. All of them perished in the wilderness. The wilderness became a barrier. The wilderness became the stopping point. But the Bible said something about Caleb. One of the men that made it. Verse 24. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him, and had followed me fully. Him will I bring into the land wherein he went. And his seed shall possess it. I will bring Caleb. Because he had another spirit. It takes another spirit to break barriers. It takes another spirit to accelerate and make progress in life. God spoke of Caleb. God testified of Caleb. He said, Caleb had another spirit. Caleb had another spirit. The spirit of Caleb was different. If you read some other translations, this another is um, translated different spirit. Church, listen and listen well. It is our difference that will make us a difference or distinguish us in life. It is our difference. It is our difference that will distinguish us. Many people are imitators. So they are limited. It is our difference. It is the area where we are different that we will have the edge in life. The Bible says Caleb had another spirit. He had a different spirit. Because he had a different spirit, he followed God fully. He followed God wholeheartedly. His spirit was connected to God. His spirit was attached to God. His spirit was, I mean, wherever God went, the, the spirit of Caleb was there. He had a different spirit. There is the common and general spirit and there is the different spirit. 598,000 plus had the same spirit. They had what somebody calls a shabby mentality. I used to have one of our teachers he coined that phrase, a shabby mentality. That means say, they all they think the same way. It was the difference in Caleb that made his difference in life. It was the difference in his spirit that caused him to make it to the promised land. And this evening, we want to look at the characteristics of another spirit the characteristics of a different spirit uh, what the spirit of caleb i mean possessed that the others did not have the bible says in numbers chapter 14 verse 9 caleb says fear not the spirit that will break barriers is a fearless spirit it is the spirit that does not, I mean, fear opposition. It is the spirit that is not afraid. It is a spirit that is not timid. The children of Israel, the ten spies, when they returned, they were afraid. The Bible says they brought an evil report. Ten said that the people were giants. 
Ten said that the cities were walled. Ten said that they cannot make it. They were baptized with fear. To make a difference this year, 2018, we must be fearless. We must be prepared to take risks. We must be prepared to take steps. The Bible says, Caleb had another spirit. And I believe by implication also, Joshua had that same spirit. There is a very interesting account in Numbers chapter 27 of the daughters of Zelophead. Zelophead was of the, I mean, root of Manasseh. Zelophead had died several years ago. And also, is, I mean, after he died, the Bible says that he had inheritance. But the law in Israel at that time, the woman cannot inherit property. The woman cannot inherit property. Let's move to Numbers chapter 27 quickly. I want to bring out a point. The woman, women do not inherit property. Numbers chapter 27. But the Bible says, verse 2, and they stood referring to the daughters before Moses and before Eliza the priest and before the princes and all the congregation by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation say, Our father died in the wilderness and he was not in the company of them that gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah. But he died in his own sin and had no sons. Why should the name of our father be done away with from among his family because he had no son? Give unto us therefore a possession among the brethren of our father. They said give when the law was contrary. They said give when the law said no. They said, give when no was the norm. The daughters of Zelophead were like Caleb. They had another spirit. They had another spirit. They, they met Moses. Our father is dead, but there is an inheritance. Our gender must not, I mean, be a barrier. Our gender cannot keep us from what rightly belongs to us. But Moses said, the law is there. One of the things that is used to place barriers at times in our way is regulation. There are certain regulations that are meant to limit us there are certain regulations barriers at times are regulated they are laws they are passed by authorities to limit us to stop us but the bible says that zelophia's daughters they confront, they met Moses uh, and told Moses uh, that we must have our inheritance. They were fearless. They met Moses when it was not the norm. Every woman before them whose father died and had no son, wait for do, na for beer. Wait for do, na the law way day. Wait for do, na this we can meet. But church, in this congregation, God is raising up uh, men and women uh, that will break barriers. Uh, there are laws standing, uh, evil laws, uh, laws to limit, uh, laws to, I mean, laws to define us, uh, laws to restrict us. Uh, but in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, this week, uh, God is raising men and women uh, to break those laws, uh, to break those barriers. Uh, and the Bible says uh, that that Moses took their cause to God. You know what Zelophiads mean? Shadow of fear. Shadow of fear. That means not to say it afraid of, but I mean not the shadow. But then people then girl picking here, then decide for break camp with the name, then decide for break camp with the custom. 
They broke camp with the name that was limiting them. Shadow of fear does not mean fear. Shadow is not reality. They break camp with the name. They break camp with the meaning of the name. And they break camp with the custom. And the Bible says that Moses went to God. Let's see what happened. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, The daughters of Zelophead speak right. This week we will speak right. I said, This week we will speak right. This law was ordained by God initially. And here Moses went back to God. And God told him that they spoke right. That law would have existed for years. I mean, many women would have suffered from it. They would have deprived, been deprived continually. But there we are five women who said enough is enough. There we are five women who said if we perish, we perish. There we are five women who said we will take no for an answer. There we are five women born to one man whose name I was shadowed with fear whose name uh, was not convincing uh, they said uh, irrespective uh, of the meaning uh, of our father's name uh, uh, the status quo must change uh, we must change uh, the status quo uh, they met Moses uh, they met Eliza and Moses took the case to God uh, and God says uh, uh, you know it was the supreme court of the earth And God was the judge. Moses say, not to say he used for B.O., not to say they be Bolake on a case. And Papa God say, then speak right. Thou shalt surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brethren, and thou shalt cause the inheritance of their father to pass unto them. Whatever we have been deprived of in your family, whatever you have been deprived of in your family because you are here this week uh, by regulation whatever you have been deprived of uh, in your office uh, whatever you have been deprived of uh, in your community by reason of regulation uh, i see that law change this year i see that law change this year i see that law change this year God changed the law. God is about to change the law for somebody here. I say God is about to change the law. Five women rose up uh, with a fearless spirit. Uh, they rose up with another spirit. Uh, they rose up uh, uh, with the spirit of Caleb. Uh, the spirit that takes no for an answer. The spirit that is not in line with the majority. The spirit that that is different uh, and God said they are correct you will be you will be found right this year I say you will be found right this year you will be found right this year verse 8 and thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel what God will do for you it is not only going to benefit you personally it is going to benefit your family. It is going to benefit generations coming after of you. They changed the course of the law in Israel. He said, and you shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, if a man die and have no son, then he shall cause his inheritance to pass on to his daughter. The law was changed. Uh, the law was altered. Uh, upon this altar, every evil law speaking against your life, uh, upon this altar, every evil law speaking against our destiny, upon this altar, every evil law speaking uh, against our progress uh, is altered. Uh, it is altered. Uh, it is altered uh, it is altered uh, in the mighty name of Jesus fear not fear not fear not 
Fear not. Fear not. The law was changed. It was changed in their favor. It was changed to their benefit. And they break the law that existed and another law was placed. You will rewrite the law of your family. I say you will rewrite the history of your family. You will rewrite the history of your family. You will rewrite the history of your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, because of you this year, a regulation in your office is going to be changed. Uh, and people coming after you, you will benefit from it. Uh, and people coming after you, they will benefit from it. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. What is the second characteristic uh, of another spirit? The spirit that... Um, Caleb possessed. That spirit sees differently. Numbers chapter 14 verse 9. Numbers chapter 14 verse 9. Twen 12 people looked at the same country. They looked at the same situation. They looked at the same environment. Ten saw, I mean, one way, two saw differently 12 people 12 people and you know church this is very important this we are leaders it was the leaders that placed a barrier on the people that is why the church you fellowship is very important god told moses to take among them leaders of every tribe the spies were leaders. They were not ordinary men in their tribes. They were leaders. Ten leaders misled the people. That is why you should be very careful. People, I mean, talking every type of doctrine. Every type of teaching. We should be very careful. They are taking you out of destiny. They are taking you out of the way. Ten leaders deprived them from the promised land. They misled them. They misdirected them. They told them based on what they saw. Let's look at more, um, Numbers 14, um, verse, Numbers chapter 14, verse 9. The Bible says, from verse 8 if the lord delights in us then he will bring us into this land and give it us a land which fled with milk and honey only rebel not ye against the lord neither fear ye the people of the land for they are bread for us we are others so bread others so giants what do you see bread or giants the challenge you are facing is not unique but you have a unique spirit the circumstance you are going through is not unique but you have a unique spirit that will put that situation down the bible says they are bread for us what you see will determine what you will receive what you see will determine what you will receive thou hast seen well i will hasten my word to perform it there is no performance because we do not see well what we see determines what we will receive what we see determines what we will receive caleb and joshua saw differently to break barriers, you must see differently. David saw Goliath as somebody who said he will cut off. An uncircumcised Philistine. All of Israel saw him as a giant. All of Israel saw him as a giant. David saw differently. David saw differently. David saw differently. The Pharisees and scribes saw Jesus as somebody they, sh they should find fault on. Bartimaeus saw him 
I mean, as somebody, I mean, that will bring his sight. The woman with the issue of blood saw him as somebody that will bring healing to her. If only I will touch uh, the hem of his garments. Uh, if only I will touch. Uh, what you see determines what you receive. Uh, your revelation of Jesus, uh, thou art the Christ, uh, the Son uh, of the living God. Uh, ah! That is revealed to you because of that you are peter based on revelation i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it revelation is superior to information what you see nobody can deny what you you can doubt what you hear you cannot doubt what you see Ah, uh, I cannot, Pastor Jones, you are wearing a black coat. That is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you. Somebody will say, Pastor Jones, beware black coat. He talk, I'm, well, I'm not quite sure, but this is what they see, I can't deny. May God cause us to see from this world. Open my eyes, Lord, uh, that I will behold uh, the wonders. Uh, there are wonders in this world uh, that will make us a wonder in life. Uh, may God open our eyes uh, to the wonders of the Lord this year. Many so see the world as a restrictive book. This is to restrict my life. This is to liberate your life. I cannot read the book of Revelation. I'm afraid of what will happen. That's a barrier. A lie from the devil. Open the book and pray that God will open your eyes. Open the book uh, and pray that God will open your eyes. Uh, Elisha said, uh, Ah, the servants saw different. Uh, get as he saw them surrounded. Uh, Elisha laughed. Uh, he said, Father, this man is not seen. Uh, he said, Open his eyes, open his eyes, open his eyes. And God answered the prayer. When the eyes of the servants uh, were opened, uh, he saw chariots uh, surrounding them. Uh, ah, he earlier on had surrendered because he thought they were surrounded. But he never knew that the host of heaven was surrounding those that appeared to be surrounding them. Uh, those uh, who appear to be surrounding you, your God uh, is surrounding them. Uh, they will not be able to do anything to you. What we see this year, what are you seeing? Uh, what are you seeing? Uh, what you see in this nation will depend on what you will benefit from this nation if you see the bad side of this nation you will you will experience the bad side but if you see the milk and honey that those others saw ah, you will experience it life is a product of what we see what we see is what we receive and what you see this year is going to determine what you will receive they saw bread where they saw giants, they saw bread. Where they saw walls, they said their defense is departed from them. They saw the enemy defenseless. The way you see the devil, you know why you know they sleep like that? Ah, that demon, yeah, that, nah, the, you don't amplify the devil, don't big now you eye. But from this year, the devil will become smaller. And God, your God will grow bigger. His word will grow bigger. His word will grow bigger. Go for the word. Uh, go for the word this year. They, they, they saw differently. They saw differently. They saw, say to your neighbor, neighbor, see differently this year. Say neighbor, see differently this year. Neighbor, see differently this year it is very important it is very important one of the things that you know i should say i mean god used the bishop to do was when this ministry started he saw what we were not seeing that's the honest truth it was seeing what we are not seeing. 
it was seen a big ministry. This building we were sitting, one time I was coming by this um, um, Ascension Town. And, you know, he closed his eyes. At times when he speaks, you will laugh. He say, uh, God, I see dome. <laughs> At times you wonder whose world, I mean, this man. <laughs> he say, he see dome. He see dome, that's in the way um, the church here, now, half and half. I mean, much not the gone. But we ability for see in the future. We ability for see in the future. God will confirm what we see. He said, the vision is yet for an appointed time. It shall speak. Though it tarry, wait for it. It shall speak and it shall not lie. As long as it is God that has spoken and you have seen it, it will definitely happen. As long as it is God that has spoken, God said, I have given you the land. They did not believe the word. They did not believe the word. This year, believe the word of God. Point number two of the other spirit. The other spirit causes you to speak differently. You do not only see differently, you speak differently. God said and God saw. But God saw before saying, and when he said it, he saw it. God does not speak blindly. He speaks what is in his spirit. Everything is created twice. It is created first in the invisible. God said, let there be light. God saw light before he spoke light. God saw light before he spoke light. He did not speak blindly. He saw it when nobody saw it. God saw you when nobody saw you. That was why he told Jeremiah, when you were in the womb, uh, I have ordained you to be a prophet uh, to the nation. When you were like a cocoon in the sun, nobody has seen you. I have seen you. I have formed you. I have framed you. You will uproot uh, and you will plant. Uh, you will pull down uh, and you will build. Uh, what you see uh, determines uh, what you will say you are not saying uh, because you are not seen uh. you are not saying uh, because you are not seen uh. you are not saying uh, because you are not seen uh. God saw first uh, God spake uh, and God saw again uh, and it was good uh. the second day the same thing uh. the third day the same thing uh. the seventh day it became very good uh. it graduated uh, as as you see uh, and you speak uh, as you see uh, and you speak uh, it will culminate uh, to very good uh, the darkness uh, will give way uh, life uh, will come forth uh, the void uh, will be filled uh, emptiness uh, will give way uh, it will be filled uh, good things uh, will come in uh, God said uh, God saw God said uh, God saw and and we are made in the image to see and to see. We are created in that same image. To see and to see. To see and to see. To see and to see. Caleb said. Joshua said. If the Lord delight in us. The ten spies God was absent in their reports. There was nothing about God. When David confronted Goliath, he says that the God of the armies of Israel. Church, many of us, we live only with God in church. In your office, God is absent. If you are ashamed of God in your office, you will be ashamed. Your report this year, you anybody that tries to make it this year without God has registered for failure. He 
if God delights in us, the language was different because he had another spirit. He did not speak the common way. You will not speak like the average Sierra Leonean. Your language is kingdom language. Caleb and Joshua, they were in the minority, but their voice was louder. Bartimaeus, he was the lone man. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Keep quiet. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Keep quiet. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Keep quiet. Just, um, Jesus did not add the, I mean, did not hear the noise. He had the single voice. Uh, and the call for Bartimaeus, uh, his voice stood out uh, because uh, his case, his spirit was different. He threw his clothes away. He knew his time had come. You know that you wank in the talk and you voice louder than the, which, I mean, 500 people speaking. He refused to be shut down. Several years ago, we have been the have been the Robna choir, now one Orthodox church. We the choir, the processor recess. We've been get one retired tenor man. Um late um pa Alexis Day. When it is sing tenor, in tenor they cover the entire choir. Now been then sound tenor man. In your one voice, in singular voice, your voice will dominate in the office this year. Your voice, your voice, we heard about voice. Uh, your voice will rule. Uh, your voice, because we are speaking the word of God. Our voice will rule. Our voice will dom dominate because we are speaking the word. The Bible says 10 people caused. I mean, over 600,000 plus people to perish. They followed the voice of the wrong leaders. Be careful the leader where you follow in voice. Many people have lost their homes. Many people have lost their businesses. Many people have lost their salvation. They have lost precious things. Because they want their leader, their shortcut leader. Lord just then at the wilderness no more. Or Lord go Egypt back. That was what they said. Let us make a captain and go back to Egypt. Any leader way indirectly they tell you go back to Egypt not like you. Any leader way they tell you say I mean na grace grace I mean commitment I mean all man are by grace. No men them pastor then the way then they talk so. Hey he does not love you. This year I mean listen well don't just look at listen to what people say look at their lives look at their example finally as i round up another characteristic of the different spirits they talked differently and they acted differently caleb and joshua then get different spirit Caleb acts differently. They did not only see. They did not only say. When Moses, I mean, departed, within three days, I mean, Joshua told the people to prepare. We are crossing this Jordan. We are crossing with speed because we have wasted much time. We are going to go over with speed, acceleration. They acted differently. Let's see um, an example. Of course, we've seen the daughter of Zelophad. Zelophad. Let's turn to Mark chapter 2 and see a set of people that acted differently. This year, you will act differently. You have been acting normally. That is why things have remained normal. You know that? We have been acting normally. Mark chapter 2, verse 2. 
And straightway many were gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them, not no much so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they came unto him, and they, they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press barrier, they uncovered the roof where he was, and when they had broken it up, they broke up the roof. They let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, when he saw their action, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. When Jesus saw their action, when God saw the action of Abraham in offering Isaac, he said, because you have done this, in blessing I will bless you. In multiplying, I will multiply because you have done this. There are many things and steps we are supposed to take that we have not taken. The four lepers took steps. God will bless what you see. God will bless what you say. But God is waiting for us to act. The people who break barriers are action, I mean, people. They're not to talk, talk people. The Bible says they broke the roof. Because of the press, there, were, there, there was a human barricade. I believe when they want for bring the man through the door, they say, I, I, he just tell like some program there. I still don't see the door, I will not move. No, nobody, hey, nobody, nobody push me. If I don't care, Ali, if I don't care, Ali, that's not true. If I don't care, Ali, I know they move. Then try for passing by the window. I mean, space not there. They look around. Then they remember the psalmist says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh. As they looked up, God showed them the roof. When you look up this year, God will show you the step to take when we look up this year when we look up when we have been looking down we have been looking around so you have not seen the way out if you look up this year if you look up to him uh, the bible says uh, they looked unto him uh, and they were lightened uh, and their faces uh, we are not ashamed uh. psalm 34 verse 5 if you see god this year you will not see shame if you see God this year, shame will not see you. Ah, the distance where they come up being far. Them being for go back, but they had another spirit. The spirit that says we are not going back. The spirit that says we must have results now. The spirit that says enough is enough. I believe when them begin for make attempts for going at the roof, some hey you, then, then go sooner. We'll go, we'll go go to court later. I mean, but yeah, this roof will they pull out. Why? They knew their answer was there. They knew that they could not be stopped. The Bible says they broke the roof. They broke the roof. They broke the roof and Jesus destroyed the palsy. Until we break the roof. Until we break the roof. There are certain things we need to do. We need to take steps. Breaking the roof may mean, I mean, thinking differently. Breaking the roof may mean breaking off a wrong relationship. Breaking the roof may mean for break off from some way where they get money in our office last year. Where God want to do something. He want to give you your real money. That one day where you've been the get, I mean, you they you, you, you spend them for sickness, you they spend them for disease. No, God wants the blessing of God. Where they make richer, uh, where not they bring sorry. Breaking the roof means that you, we will break camp with certain things. 
but God will heal us of the palsy. God will cause us to walk. God will cause us to take steps. God will cause us to go. When that man, when he was healed, the man in problem had been seen. Jesus just forgiving sin. They say, ah, udana this. I mean, where they forgive sin. You know, when God hits the problem from the root, decide where the man not been to go by himself, where he need people, he begin for go by himself. No more barrier. No more limitation. Because the barrier was broken. The roof was broken. The man gained speed in life. Uh, the one that will be in the Olam, the Waka, he not need them again for Olam for Waka. He able for Waka for himself. Uh, he able for move for himself. Uh, Bishop been they tell we, maybe you don't they under your parents their roof for long. You know, some of them teaching, I work here, I mean, posting can smile. I remember myself I've been there long with me, Mama. We on background, you go there. I mean, almost here. Yeah, I mean, you need somebody for push you, say, Bobo, get out and do something. I've been there long. Until from the word of God, I forcefully relocated. So them mommy, them wait, them boy picking, even they wait on the married. Hey, they can't eat here, I waiting and call, hey, take you to them. He don't marry now. Let, let him make progress. Let him go forward. Let him go forward. Boy, picking change your mentality. Change your Or pull that roof, they come out. Pull that roof, they come out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This year, by the grace of God, if we can see differently, if we can talk differently, if we can act differently, there will be no barrier that will stop us. There will be no speed bump that will lessen our speed. It will be a safe flight. It will be a comfortable flight. It will be a flight directed by God, piloted by God, and by the grace of God. At the end of the year, we will be rejoicing that barriers are broken and we have gained speed in life. Elijah and Ahab. Elijah left, Ahab left ahead of Elijah. But before they left, something happened. Elijah went up to eat and drink. Ahab went up to pray. When they moved, Elijah, I mean, Ahab moved ahead and Elijah overtake, overtook him. Um, let the eating and drinking come after. But Elijah went, head between his knees. This prophecy must come to pass in my life. I must break barriers. I must break barriers. After you have broken through in the spirit, then there will be eating and drinking in the physical. <laughs> Elijah, Ahab go eat Ali. When Elijah go pray. So, Eli Ahab was a consumer, whilst Ahab, Elijah was both a producer and a consumer. He had seed for the sower and bread for the eater. Bow your heads and let us pray. Thank God for tonight. Bless God. Glorify God. Thank you, Father. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. Thank you for your word. You have spoken. Lord, cause us to see differently. Cause us to talk differently. Cause us to act differently. Cause us not to party, Lord, before we pray. So that will not become a prayer. When people go up to eat and drink, cause us to go and pray. Cause us to go and study the word. Cause us to spend time in your presence. So that when the rain comes, those who have gone ahead of us, like Paul who came from behind and oh did much more than Peter and others like Joseph who came from behind oh and God used him more than his brothers Lord in the mighty name of Jesus cause us cause this word to be fulfilled in our lives in Jesus wonderful name amen God bless you
Hallelujah. Wow. Is that the way you celebrate the man of God with such a word? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor Ope, for that word. That word is so loaded and overloaded with revelation. You know, I like the way he started. He said the wilderness was not designed by God to be a destination for us. But it was designed by God to be a transit point. Are you listening to me? So that means whatever you have been going through, this, this, this convention 2018, you have been in a transit point. But this convention is going to be a springboard. It's going to be a stepping stone for you to make it to your destiny. In the name of Jesus, I see you making it and you will break barriers. If you listen to what the man of God has said, if you see it and you believe it and you speak it, you will possess it, you will take it, you will step into it and you will become more than a conqueror in the name of Jesus. Come on somebody, let's make some noise in the house tonight. Come on, make some noise! If you believe...